Judas. In the 1500s, a priest called Martin Luther started a religious revolt against the Catholics in Germany and set up the Protestant Church. He was a colourful character, to say the least. And having heard that Mr. Luther shares my misgivings about the Catholic Church, I was hoping to discuss our philosophy and work out the best way to tackle these terrible abuses of Catholic power. Of course, and I know he's been looking forward to meeting you. Ever since he wrote the doctrine that's the foundation for the breakaway Protestant Church, he threw that in his office. Ah, thank you. Hello! Oh my word, I'm so sorry, I didn't realize you were on the toilet. Well, that is right, yes, but this is also my office. I don't think it is. No, no, you see, I use the toilet so much, I thought to myself, hmm, why not turn my toilet into my office? So I had this big bathroom built uh, with underfloor heating, a nice wooden toilet with cesspit underneath. So now I can do my business while I do my business. Ha <laughs> ha, I made a joke. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, I need to finish this letter to my friend. If you ask me, the whole thing stinks. It is dark. Foreboding makes me feel very uncomfortable. Ah, I take it you're referring to the abuses of the Catholic Church. Oh, no, no, no. I am just filling my friends in with the details of my latest poop poops. I like to keep my friends abreast of my movements. You write detailed letters about your poo to your friends? That's right! I know some people can find my obsession with the poop poops a little bit weird, but I have no doubt that they will enjoy reading about my body bombs as much as I enjoy writing about them, no? <laughs> well, clearly you're far too busy to discuss church matters with me yourself. Perhaps you would allow me to see your number two. Sure. Oh. Here she is. Oh, I meant your assistant. Oh, well, yeah. <clears throat> Good size and consistency. Smell. Hmm. Pungent. Martin Luther really did come up with the idea for the Protestant Church on a toilet in Germany. This paved the way for Henry VIII to break from Rome and start the Church of England 20 years later, which meant he could now take control of all the Catholic abbeys in the country. And that wasn't very good news for the monks who lived there.